hey darlings welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create this design on your bodies you can find a variety of it on blouses and dress and there are different ways to achieve this but in this video i'm going to show you one of the ways to achieve this design i also have another tutorial where a beginner's variety is being shared and I'll put the link in the description box below most of you will agree with me that this one is far easier to achieve than the one I'm going to make in this video so if you want to see this one as well please check the description box for the link thank you now for these bodies I'm going to be cutting on fold as you can see right here and this point right here is the center front while this area is the upper bust area and to determine the amount of fabric to fold I divided the bust circumference into four and added three inches at least for the seam allowance next I marked my indication line and I placed my tape five and a half on the upper chest area now I'm going to mark eight and a half for the armhole line that is the bust line then I'm finding the nipple to nipple line at 10 and a half inch and then 13 inches for the under bust area and then I'm going to leave the full length of this blouse at 17 and a half inch I'm marking the nipple to nipple distance that is the dart line 8 inches divided by 2 which is 4 inches and I marked it all through the three indication lines and I'm going to connect them to each other like this at the upper chest area you're going to add one inch to the measurement you have on your bust point area which in my case is five inches and after marking it now i'm going to mark in my dot and i'm taking half inch from this point and then i'm going to take one and a half inch from this area and i'm going to do the same at the under bust area but it will serve as an indication line now i'm going to connect these areas together like this at the upper chest area i'm taking one inch away from both sides of the dot line and i'm going to connect this smoothly together now to complete the upper chest area to match with the shoulder area of these bodies we are going to calculate it as follows now the shoulder measurement i'm using is 14 inches due to the fact that it's a sleeveless dress i removed one inch from 14 inches leaving the shoulder measurement at 13 inches now 30 inches divided by two gives us six and a half inch now also remember that this is a process seam so we need about one inch to that measurement to join the seam after cutting so now we have six and a half plus one inch which is seven and a half and remember that this is the midpoint of the armhole line so i'm taking off half inch from this point as well which leaves out as seven inches all together and remember that the inner bodies which is from this point center front to this point measures four inches so seven minus that four inches leaves us with three inches so i'm going to mark in that three inches remaining so guys don't forget to check out my other video on how to create a similar design on your bodies it's quite easier to create and it's beginners friendly i'll put the link in the description box below now to mark in your bust measurement i'm using 36 inches for bust circumference divided by four is nine inches plus half inch i'm losing at the dart area which leaves me at nine and a half inch so instead of marking nine and a half inch i'm going to mark ten and a half because i need one inch to join the princess seam after cutting and don't forget to mark in your side seam allowance next i'm going to connect the bust measurement from this point to create the armhole from this point onto the upper chest area of my bodies is the under bust and the circumference is 30 inches divided by four is seven and a half inch and from the center front to the dart line, I have three and a half already. 
So I need to complete my measurement at this other side of the princess dart, which is four inches remaining. But instead of four inches to make it seven and a half, I'm going to add one inch to that measurement for joining the princess seam after cutting. So I'm going to mark at five inches. I'm going to use this strategy to mark the full length as well of my bodies. So I'm going to connect these side lines together and then add my side seam allowance. Now I'm cutting out my fabric and the next thing to do is to join it from the princess seam area. Don't forget to join it from the lower part to the upper chest area. Now to determine how much to mark in from the center front, I'm going to be marking two inches because I wanted it to be obvious on this video. But if you don't want to show off your bust or your cleavage you mark one inch to make it to remain modest so you're going to cut through this area and you're going to do the same on your lining as well next you're going to place the lining on the main fabric right side to right side to each other and then you are going to run some stitches at the upper chest area right here and i'm also going to be lining the armhole line as well so after doing that, you notch the area soon and then flip it to the right side of your fabric. And this is what I have. And I'm setting this aside to mark the yoke. Now to create the yoke of these bodies, remember that the shoulder measurement we are working with is 14 inches. Then I removed one inch from it because it's sleeveless. And I leave it at 13 inches divided by two, which is six and a half inch. Next, I'm going to find the armhole area which I'm going to mark at eight and a half inch as we did for the lower part of the bodies. This yoke is going to be an overlapping yoke. That is why the length is at 10 inches. Now at this bust line area, I'm going to be marking in the shoulder measurement as well. Then I'm going to connect this together just as you would your basic bodies pattern. Now the next thing I'm going to do right now is to marking the bust measurement and remember i'm working with 36 inches bust circumference divided by four is nine inches next i'm going to add my seam allowance now at the midpoint of the armhole line i'm taking in half inch also and i'm going to connect the bust measurement all through to create the armhole line now on the neckline area i'm going to be marking the width at four and a half inch Remember that you can change this to match your own test. Now we're going to mark out that five and a half inch upper bust area we marked on our lower bodies. And I'm going to rule this out. Remember we marked out, we took out five and a half inch. So now the depth of the neckline I'm using is about three inches to three and a half. So I'm going to rule it out. Then from this overlapping area, I'm going to connect it with a curve line all the way to that five and a half inch upper bust area that I took off from the lower bodies. Now I'm going to cut out my fabric with my lining and to stitch it together, place my lining on the right side of my fabric. And I'm going to run my stitch at this point with quarter of an inch at the armhole line, the neckline area, leaving some points open. Now, as you can see, I've done this. I'm going to notch these stitch areas together and from this point to this point is open to flip my fabric to the right side. So to do that, I'm going to flip it over to the right side from the unstitched area around the armhole area. Now to close the open area around the armhole area of my blouse, I'm going to fold in quarter of an inch both on my fabric and the lining like this and i'm going to top stitch it from this point all the way and i'm going to repeat the same on the other side of the armhole area now to join this yoke to the lower part of the blouse i'm stitching right from the armhole area and i'm going to join it from there on and after doing that you can choose to top stitch these areas from this point to this point it's optional if you choose to top stitch it good or you can top stitch all the way 
all around this area to create an effect so guys the next thing i did to, is to join to the back bodies and my blouse is ready thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly click the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of our interesting tutorials and also guys don't forget to check out this video also i'll leave the link in the description box below see you guys in my next tutorial bye